The complete and utter farce that is the Home Office has been exposed yet again. As we all know, there are a constant stream of boats arriving in the English Channel from France that are being picked up by the UK Border Force at the express wishes of the Home Office itself. Now, before I get into the video, we all know about tech censorship, so I have joined the new free speech version of Twitter, which is called Parler, and will be linked in the description, which is available on Android and iOS. So, if you don't like Twitter or have been banned from there, be sure to follow me on Parler. Now, let's get on with the video. Well, it seems last night the Daily Mail reported that six foreign criminals a day are freed onto the streets of Britain instead of being deported, new figures have revealed. So, six foreign criminals a day who should be deported are just released on the streets to possibly commit crimes again, which a large proportion of them do if you take a look at the crime statistics regarding re-offending. Six foreign criminals a day are being released from prison onto Britain's streets instead of being deported, figures show. A total of 2,152 offenders, including killers, sex attackers, robbers and drug dealers, were freed into the community last year after finishing jail sentences. The figure is up 70% in just four years. In total, a record 8,497 foreign-born criminals were living in the UK at the end of March instead of being forced out of the country, up 68% from 5,053 in 2015. Home Secretary Priti Patel has promised tougher actions to speed up deportations, but critics last night accused the Home Office of overseeing a shambles, which I think you would agree is an understatement considering everything we have seen over the past few months in relation to the Home Office and when you look back at recent history, especially relating to the grooming gang report. Under the rules, any foreign criminal sentenced to more than 12 months in prison is liable for all automatic deportation. However, guidelines say those who have finished their jail terms should be detained only if removing them is a realistic prospect. If they've broken the law and the law states you spend 12 months in prison, you get kicked out of the country, then I'm sorry to say that is the way it should be. There shouldn't be a matter of prospect about it. It should just be, you broke the law, you spent this amount of time in prison, we will see you later, or more to the point, we won't see you later. It means that instead of being locked up until they are thrown out, they are released to be managed in the community, but many abscond and slip off the radar, potentially putting the public in danger, which obviously they do. There's no potentially about it. A lot of these people have gone on to commit crimes as we saw just the other day. The red in fuck pig from Libya was released from prison 16 days before the attack that left three dead. Some of those released use human rights or asylum laws to avoid being sent back home or do not have travel documents and cannot be removed immediately. Yeah, bin your passport and all that, claim you're somebody else and allow our weak system to take 5 to 10 years to maybe kick you out or just grant you leave to remain because we all know they are completely incompetent. Nearly a third, 2,430, have been on the loose for more than five years. A further 3,055 have dodged being booted out for between 12 months and five years. So, as I said, this has been going on for a long time. We can't entirely blame pretty piss poor Patel and the current Home Office, though most of them, I expect, have been there for probably 10 or more years, if not a lot longer. But we can at least blame 10 years of Tory government, and I would guarantee more than 10 years of Labour government before it. But these numbers here saying 2,400 have been on the loose for more than five years is an absolute disgrace to this country and does not surprise me when things like what happened the other day in Reading occur simply because of this. It comes after a series of scandals affecting the Home Office. Last month, the Daily Mail reported how the victim of the Rochdale child sex grooming gang came face to face with her abuser in a supermarket even though he should have been deported two years ago. This is a story I actually covered at the time. But guess what? I expect he is still walking around that exact same area now. No thanks, of course, to the Home Office. The girl was 13 when she became pregnant by the dirty fuck pig Adil Khan, 50 years old. The taxi driver and two other men were due to be sent back to Pakistan after being released. David Spencer, research director at the Centre for Crime Prevention think tank, said this is a shambles. It is scandalous that there are thousands of foreign criminals living freely in our communities when they should long since have been deported to their own countries. These figures show all too clearly how hamstrung the Home Office is 
by the current human rights legislation and how badly reform is needed in order to keep the British people safe. In April, the Supreme Court dealt a major blow to Ms Patel's promise to remove more foreign offenders. Judges said criminals could avoid deportation if they would get poorer health care in their homeland than on the NHS, which is also something I covered at the time. And I think you would all agree is another reason why Boris Johnson needs to abolish the Supreme Court. It came in the case of a 33-year-old Zimbabwean drug dealer who used the European Convention on Human Rights to claim he would not receive life-saving treatment in Africa. Well, I'm sorry to say that should be absolutely fuck all to do with us end of story. Ms Patel has ordered a review of asylum law that will force claimants, including criminals, to lodge all their arguments at the beginning of a case, which, to be honest, is the way it should be anyway. This would stop them from submitting spurious claims under different areas of human rights law to delay their deportation. With lawyers like what Sadiq Khan used to be, obviously pushing for them to do this. That needs to stop. And more people need to know that Sadiq Khan used to be a lawyer, preventing people from being deported, and of course, defending dirty fuck pigs like the one we see the other day in Reading. The Home Office said more than 52,000 foreign criminals have been removed since 2010. Yeah, I'll believe that when I actually see it. Those released into the community are subject to bail conditions with monitoring, including electronic tagging and telephone contact, it added. Well, the guy the other day had all of that, and look what happened, you incompetent morons. A spokesman for the Home Office said foreign national offenders should be in no doubt of our determination to deport them, but as the Home Secretary made clear in Parliament earlier this week, tougher action is needed. The process is complicated and there are barriers to overcome, but we are actively looking at all options, including legislative changes. And here we have someone trying to overturn the ban on early release. We don't really care about that at the moment. That is not going to go anywhere. The government has said so themselves. But to be honest, I am not surprised by this headline here, stating six foreign criminals a day are freed onto the streets of Britain. We know how weak the Home Office is and the government really are when it comes down to it. You wouldn't think they had an 80 seat majority, that is for sure. Now, as I keep saying in my videos, guys, remember to join me on Parler. It is the free speech version of Twitter, and it has also now taken over the number one download spot from Twitter itself, so it's definitely gaining some traction. And I would like to say a big thank you to everyone who has already joined me over there. Now, as always, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who supports the channel, and my other social media links are down in the video description. If you want to come and support me on Twitter, BitChute, and a variety of of other platforms including my second YouTube channel. As I said, all links are down in the video description. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies Mr. Verhofstadt against their empires <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving and it doesn't matter which language you use we are going and we are glad to be going we're off <laughs>